Got another exam question walkthrough for A-level chemistry. So this is carboxylic acids and derivatives number five. If you want to check out the other videos in the playlist, I'll put the link to that at the top of the screen now. So the question covers the properties of carboxylic acids, the naming of an ester, the synthesis of an ester, and the hydrolysis of both the ester and amide functional group. Hope you liked the video, hope you find it helpful, and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I'd love you to do so. But as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. So part A, we've got to draw up a methanolic acid molecule and water molecule. We're showing the dipole across the OH bonds on the two molecules and the lone pairs as well on the oxygens. So the interaction is obviously a hydrogen bond between the lone pair on an oxygen and the hydrogen of a neighbouring molecule. So I'm going to go for that one there. So we'll just label that up as a hydrogen bond. And I'm just going to say HCOH, methanoic acid, forms hydrogen bonds with water when it dissolves. Moving on to part B, so the two parts of the ester are the ethyl group, so that's a purple group that I've um, highlighted there, and this group here is called a 4-methyl pentanoate group, so you've got five carbons in the main part of the chain. We start the numbering from here, so that's carbon number one, because that's where the functional group is, so that means that that methyl group is on carbon four. So in terms of the name, it's ethyl 4-methyl pentanoate. Moving on to the next part, so we've got to synthesize ester F by these two steps. So I've highlighted this part here because the carboxylic acid is going to give us that. So the carboxylic acid in question is this one here. So we react that with SOCl2 thionyl chloride to generate the acyl chloride. And the rest of the equation looks like that there. And then to convert that into ester F, we react the acyl chloride with ethanol to get that ethyl group. So the other product is going to be an HCl molecule. Part C, you've got to draw the structures of the monomers needed to make this polymer here. So I've cut it there because this bit here is going to be one of the monomers. This bit here is going to be the other monomer. So we've got options for this part here. It could either be this dicarboxylic acid or this diacyl chloride. And to generate this part here, it needs to be this diol. And finally, part D, we've got to do the alkaline hydrolysis of this compound here. So the bonds that can be broken are the ester bond and this amide bond as well. So when this bit breaks off, we're obviously going to make a methanol molecule. So that's one of the products. And for the other product, we've got two options for representing it. We could either show the full sodium salt version, like I've done there, or you could show the ion version there.